Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're doing game five of the Minnesota North Stars series against the St. Louis Blues. And for this game, we have moved to St. Louis for game five. And if need be, well, there will be a need be. We'll go back to Minnesota in the next game. Because right now the series is tied at two apiece. St. Louis won the first two, and then we came back and won the next two. So we're tied, and so on we go. Let me uh, turn down the sound here. And on we go. And they got Cujo back in the net. So we'll see how that goes. We peppered him last game, but uh, but he did win game one. So let's see how he can end up doing. Uh, yeah, there you saw. And let me move myself over here. So who's going to get the puck? Who's going to come away with it? And it's us. Jim Johnson with possession of the puck from Minnesota. Hard hit on Tenorti, though, by Butcher. So Butcher has the puck now for St. Louis. He took the puck away from Tenorti. Let me take this off. Not a good luck. So let's see. Um, I am going to try to intimidate with Jim Johnson, yes. And so Jim Johnson's got the puck back again for us. Now Scott Stevens has it. Kind of like a tennis match here to start out. It's back and forth, back and forth. No shots. 50% for Tenorti. Yes, I'm going to try that. Butcher is stapled to the boards by Tenorti. And so now it's Glenn because I guess there was a line change. So now Glenn has the puck. And Bobby Smith. Uh, for the shot, yeah. I would do that. And again, as usual, if there's times that I can skip ahead or there's times in the video editing room, hey, Smith worked his way inside where I can, um, that's going to be a save and go to the left wing. There's going to be times in the editing room where it makes sense to edit out some stuff and, uh, you know, get this down to a manageable size, I will do that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I've gotta try to intimidate wherever I can. Doesn't work though, and Hull is inside. For an inside shot, 11, goalie rating, three, save any forward. That's nice, I'm going to Dolan, he's across from an A. Trying to get that penalty, still trying to draw that penalty. And that's, now it's Madano. And there's only five seconds left, so it looks like we're going to get the scoreless first period. Which means I will probably be zipping through the first period in the editing room. And uh, that's the end of the first period. Yeah. So, we take the opening face off of the second period. Everybody back to full strength. Five on five. Shots are even at ten. The score is even at nil. So, Butcher comes away with the puck off the face-off. And 50%, yeah, I'm going to try to take the puck away. Tenorti with a preemptive strike, jolts him, and there's a penalty, and it's probably going to be on Tenorti. Oh, well, no, it's going to be on whoever I choose. 
I'm going to go Jim Johnson. I guess that was an extra penalty. So now we're shorthanded. Now, of course, we would like to see St. Louis shorthanded, but we definitely don't want to be shorthanded ourselves because we can't afford that. St. Louis is generally a better team. They finished better than us. They won our division, as a matter of fact. So we uh, can't afford that. We finished third, but we finished a way back behind them third. Now Berezin has the puck. And he loses the puck, and there's an inside shot for the left wing. And that's Brett Hull. No, it's Cavallini. Cavallini with an inside shot, six. That's a save left defenseman comes away. So that's good. We got Dahlquist with the puck, 1843 left. left in the second period that is Quinn took the puck away and now he has an inside shot seven goalie rating six is a goal and St. Louis takes the lead because well it is a power play goal so I don't want to say it was only because we were short-handed but it could well be so uh, we're down now At the, that was at the uh, 117 mark of the second period. Didn't take them much time to take the lead. So now St. Louis leads 1-0, outshooting us 12-10 and outscoring us 1-0 with 1843 left. In the second, Prop gets the puck off the faceoff. And Rich Suter takes the puck away, and now he has it. 17-21 left in the second. And we take it back away now, and so now Duchesne has the puck. 16-47 left. And uh, it looks like there's a penalty coming up, possibly. To Rich Suter. So finally, they go to the box. Now, we really have to capitalize here. We've got a man advantage, and we're down by one. So this has to work for us. Brian Bellows with control of the puck. Let's see what he can do with it. 16.29 left. Jim Johnson with an outside shot. Nine. That's going to be a lose to the right wing. Right wing comes away with it. That's Bob Basson. Bob Basson failed to skate, though, so we should get the puck back right down there. And uh, player for the shot, Madano. He's as good a choice as any. Um, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. It looks like he stops and looks for somebody to pass to. And the right wing has control. So Basson takes the puck back away from him. So, uh, yeah, not going well. Um, Basson skates with it successfully. He's going to probably try again. Now Oates has it. And Bobby Smith takes the puck away, has an outside shot. That's an 11. That's going to be a save center. They don't have a center, though, so does that mean we, we'll get it? No, probably Oates, yeah. So Oates has the puck, 15-21 left in the second period with St. Louis up 1-0. And Brian Prop is going to uh, be the guy that I'm going to give it to. And Prop is, I'm going to pass it with Prop. Nope, defensive center has control. They take the puck away. 
we can't do anything. We can't work it in. We can't um, get inside. We can't pass it without being intercepted. I mean, we're just really not playing a very good, very uh, sharp game here. Bobby Smith, though, with an outside shot, taking the puck away. 11, that's going to be a save defensive center. So Joseph is back to being Joseph in this game. And now Scott Stevens has the puck. And Tenorti takes it away and has an outside shot. That's a four. That's going to be a save left defense. And Scott Stevens has possession of the puck. And we took it away. And Jim Johnson with an outside shot. He's just going to take the shot. Because he, he can't work it down inside. And he can't really do much of anything. So the shot is a save and it goes to the right defenseman and that's going to be Garth Butcher for St. Louis. 12:42 remaining. St. Louis up one nothing in the second. And Neil Broughton, yeah, I would give it to Neil Broughton. I haven't really called his name in a while. But they take it away and Oates has the puck. Player for the shot, Alf Dahlin. Yeah, he's as good a choice. I mean, I'm going to spread it out and see who can who can put it in. Who can put the biscuit in the basket? And that's a save. Left wing. Coming away with it. As Craig Lachlan would say. Put the biscuit in the basket. Inside shot intimidation for Gino Cavallini. And we are going to intimidate, and I don't know... Let's see. No, Giles can't handle him, so it's Dan Quinn, actually, and Dan Quinn inside. Seven, goalie rating six is going to be a goal, and now they're up to now. Now, now, folks, things are bad. Things just went from bad to, like, extremely bad. So now we're losing 2 nothing. We're still up in shots, ironically. Um, 15 to 13, but we are not on the scoreboard at all so it's two nothing um st louis right now so we'll see who comes away with it here brenda moore has it for st louis Thirty percent. Yes, we'll try it. We have to try it. We have to keep as many shots. And that's going to be a penalty on us. Uh, yeah. Let's give it to Giles. So again, it's one of those extra penalty things. All right. So we're we're down a man. Ten fifty six left. We're down two goals. <clears throat> things are looking bleak and. They scored their first goal on a power play. So we have to be particularly wary here. And they got an inside shot for maybe from for Lowry. For yeah. Dave Lowry has an inside shot. Seven. That's gonna be a lose to the right defenseman. So he has the puck. And Marois, Mario Marois. He takes a shot, but it's saved by Casey. And uh, Dahlquist has the puck. 10-11 left in the period. Maybe at the next um, break in the action, I will fast forward to two minutes. Marois, that's a rebound. He takes a shot, and it's a rebound. 
And a mad scrum, but Duchesne comes away with it. Let's uh, go ahead to... Let's quick play to two minutes left in the second period and see where that puts us. And that puts us at 4 nothing. So it doesn't take Einstein to figure out that this is going to be a quick edit. So, uh, yeah, this is not going to... You're not going to have much to have to watch. So, yeah, we got a minute 17 left, and we're down 4 nothing. And Brian Bellows with the puck. And they even put Hayward in for us. And, you know, I'm fine with that because we're not going to come back from 4 down. Uh, Bellows is going to pass. And it didn't work. See, nothing we do can work. Glenn is going to try to pass. Inside shot for any player. All right. Madonna, that's a good pick. And Madonna inside taking a shot. Six. Goalie rating. Five. Is a goal for Madonna. So we're on the board. But it might be a little too little, a little too late. Um, shots are tied at 20, but we're still down on the scoreboard four to one. And so we got to get at least right now uh, three goals in the third period. I don't really see that happening. It seems like they're playing too well, St. Louis, this game. Bob Basson comes away with it. Five seconds left, so that's probably how the second period is going to end. Duchesne with an outside shot option. I'm just going to shoot it. We'll see what happens. Six, that's a save, and a right wing comes away with it. And we go to the third period with a score of four to one. We're leading in shots 21-20, but we are way down on the scoreboard, 4-1. to one. And Scott Stevens comes away with the puck. I mean, they scored, you got to think about it, they scored two goals in like, because I only fast-forwarded from like 11 minutes of the second to two minutes. Something like that. There was a, Johnson took a shot, but it was a save by Cujo. So that was only nine minutes. They scored two goals in like nine minutes in the second. And we're, we'll check who those were a little later after we go look, but you know. Uh, let's see, Dolan with an outside shot option. I'm gonna try to penetrate with him. And he failed to penetrate. I mean, we can't get anything going. Nothing works. So, Cavallini comes away with it for St. Louis. If we lose this game, we'll be down 3-2, to two, and then we have to win two straight. Now, we've had done that in this series, but against St. Louis, you got to think you're, not gonna, you're only going to be able to pull that rabbit out of your hat just so many times. Uh, Brian Prop, yeah, he's across from a B, that's fine. Okay, so now it becomes Duchesne because of a line change. 1748 left. Um, Doug Schmale with an outside shot option. I am going to. We're just going to shoot it. I mean, he can't really do anything else, and it would be irresponsible to try to make him get something else. So we've got a save, and their center will come away with the puck. And that's Adam Oates in this case, 17-16 left in the game. Time is really our biggest enemy right now. We still need three goals. Broughton takes the puck away and has an outside shot. Eight rebound. And 
the defensive left defenseman Cavallini comes away with it. Paul Cavallini with the puck for St. Louis. But Jim Johnson takes it away, 16-16 left. We're being outshot 23-20. Or no, we're out shooting them 23-20. I am going to try to take it away, intimidation of 75. And uh, I don't know what happened there. They're going to have, looks like they'll have an outside shot. Scott Stevens with the outside shot for... That's a save right wing. So our right wing will come away with it. That's Doug Schmale. 14.59 left. They take the puck away again. And Basson has an outside shot only for St. Louis. That's an eight. That's a rebound. save any offensive player three and that's going to be scott stevens taking his own rebound and that's a six goalie rating eight is going to be a goal all right so i think it's apparent we we pretty much are not winning this game so i'm going to fast forward to two minutes left in the game probably going to miss some goals but you know Uh, game, quick play. Let's go three minutes left in the third. And it's five to one still. Now they're out shooting us 27 26. They're short handed, but I don't think that's going to matter. I mean, we're down by four with 2.22 left. We're not getting four goals in two minutes and 22 seconds. So, 2.05 left. And Cavallini taking the puck for St. Louis. There's only 39 seconds left in the game of a 5-1 to one game that we're getting crushed. That's okay. We crushed them last game. So we're, we're going to be down three games to two. Giles with an inside shot. And uh, no goal. That was a save by Joseph, who was pit, uh, played spectacularly this game. So it wasn't a bad choice for them to go back to... Joseph after we speckled him in game four. Um, but yeah, time rolling down. Seven seconds left in the game. And Giles takes the puck away, has an inside shot, seven, lose to the defensive center, probably ends the game. And it is. That's the end of the game. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, we know our only goal was Madano. But St. Louis, after those two goals by Quinn, they had one by Wilson, one by Oates, and then you just saw the one by Stevens. So they thoroughly thrashed us 5-1, to one, and they take a three games to two lead. We will be back in Minnesota for game six, but uh, game six and games six and seven will be must wins for us. We will have to win those games. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.